Um, well, before we got to the name, uh, Bernard and I had been playing for a while, and I was quite intrigued by the possibilities of playing uh, Indian classical music without the tabla, which is quite an unusual thing, um, or without a, you know, pakawaj or anything Indian really. We were playing uh, using his uh, cajon, which is a box. Um, and then we moved on to using the drums. I think I wouldn't say the most challenging part because it's been a really, it's been a very good ride for us and it's, and it's been a very natural progression of finding sounds. I mean, the main, the main challenge is really finding a language together. And usually what you do is, when, as, a, as an artist, you find your own language. But in this case, working very closely with Shomik, we are both try finding a language together. Time was a big factor, like a lot of the pieces that we're coming up with. It, it said to us time or something. And so then we started looking at this image of the clock and how it weaves just through hours and, and it represents life and it represents movement and, and going into the future. I think our music is, is about the dialogue and the conversation that we have. And I mean, in its essence, it's melody and rhythm. And, and one part cannot really sustain without the other. And, uh, but then on a, on a, on a UN level, it's, it's the conversation between the two of us. It came uh, about when me and Shomik met for the first time, uh, when I moved to London about three and a half years ago. three years have been a bit like that, or maybe more five years have been a bit like that, they've been a real uphill climb, trying to figure out the tools to climb, um, not just, uh, I mean artistically, musically, like what to do with this instrument which has such a deep history uh, in traditional music. <laughs> I mean, as you can see, I'm a very, a very frequent movie watcher. Um, what is it? Sorry, <laughs> the Avengers. 